Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are about to start game two of QXC against White Raw. This is the first group in the King of the Beta Tournament, sponsored by Razor. Now, in that group already, Into the Rainbow had a dominating performance against Demaga in the early stages. I mean, Demaga... Even though he opened aggressively, Into the Rainbow managed to just play very, very carefully and maneuver around that aggression very well. And Into the Rainbow is currently 1-0. This is the second series of games, QXC versus White Raw. The question is, QXC's aggression, will it be able to topple the creativity and stability of White Raw's play? QXC down 0-1. We will be going into game two right now. Here is QXC spawning in the left position as the Purple Terran. QXC did get the choice of map in this tournament. Uh, loser picked. Each player got to downvote one map, and Metalopolis QXC has repeatedly said is his favorite map. He loves the wide open spaces because he does love getting big marine medic balls. Uh, excuse me, marine medevac marauder balls. So here is White Ross spawning at the bottom as the purple Protoss. This map is considered very balanced in pretty much all the matchups. White Ross throwing down a pylon on nine. I cannot tell you how important it is that this pylon is close to the main because you heard me talk about Reapers early on uh, because, you know, you do want to have a nice tight area to defend, but of course with Marauder Harassment. If you're against QXC, QXC loves throwing down a very early barracks. Doesn't look like he's doing it in this game, but if QXC did throw down an early barracks with an early tech lab, he would be able to Marauder push and pick off this pylon. He's done it to me many times, and I have more losses than I am, um, you know, not willing to share on this stream publicly. <laughs> so either way, White Raw throwing down a very typical timing for that gateway, throwing it down on 12. Not too early, not too late. Does let you get that Cybernetics core up reasonably early, and White Raw's continuing continuing to chrono boost probes and is scouting directly towards the right side of the map. Proxy positions, that is right versus bottom or left versus top, those are the two positions that foster aggression on this map because you're right next to your opponent, so you always want to scout that position first. Looks like QXC isn't doing anything crazy aggressive. I love this positioning with the supply depot and the barracks. It creates a nice small wall that you can maneuver your units around. Gas going down for QXC as well. White Raw planting a pylon down here on top. Great sign of a solid Protoss player to be planting pylons at the north of your base on this map. Look, he can just have a little area to warp in, and he also gets to scout a little bit with that pylon. He can see just a touch of units trying to poke by here, such as Reapers or even early Marauder Harassment. So the two players head passed by each other up here at the top, so they do know uh, approximately where, they're, where each other are, but they are going to be advancing there a little bit uh, more slowly. They do want to definitely check out these two positions first. So we do have Marines being made right now for QXC. No fast tech lab add-on. He does get that orbital command out. First mule done. No second gas. Doesn't look like we're having any sort of crazy uh, aggression. But everything, everything seems reasonable at this point for QXC. So either way, uh, it appears that Cybernetics Core also almost done for White Ra. He has gotten his second geyser down as well. Uh, one Stalker popping out right now. Looks like Factory almost done for QXC. Oh, looks like he has spotted. This probe is trying to repel that a little bit. God, White Raw is so good about building these pylons. This is going to allow him to... Um this is going to allow him to warp in stuff at various locations around the map. There was an issue with the stream. It managed to cut out, but we simply rebooted it, and it is back and working. QXC has massed a good amount of Marines, and it doesn't look like White Raw has gotten the chance to really see anything that QXC is doing. Meanwhile, oh, QXC getting a good look of exactly what's in here, but oh, he didn't see the Stargate at the north of the base. Oh, that's terrible news for QXC. QXC almost certainly is expecting an early expand or some sort of big warp gate push. Another pylon going down there. White White Ra is having vision of that Zelnaga watchtower. Oh, will he be able to take out the SCV? Oh, <laughs> QXC managing to get out in time. Will that Stalker catch up? That can be a huge obnoxious blow in the early game. But oh, White Ra does manage to take it out. But look at this trademark uh, movement by QXC wanting to get out and do as much damage as he can. But here comes some nice uh, movement by White Ra trying to shoot at those Marines. Remember, Stalkers do have range 6. Marines do have range 5. So White Ra will be... be will be able to pick off some Marines Hellion out right now. Marine Hellion opening for QXC, but interestingly, it looks like, oh, some lifting landing action, some leapfrog going on in the main of QXC as he is going for an extremely fast Banshee, it appears, and three barracks popping out right now, but this bunker needs to go up soon. White Raw has these two stalkers, and oh my goodness, White Raw with yet another Void Ray, following it up with a Phoenix. Does he have Warp Gate? No, hasn't even begun to research it yet, and QXC, is he going to get the bunker up in time? Here come all these stalkers. Yes, he does manage to finish it in time. White Raw will not be able to hit from the back. But 
but here comes the Void Ray, shooting at this Barracks, oh my god, he doesn't really have any anti-air, oh, he cancels the Banshee, he still has Cloak going, but he needs to get a Viking up, and oh, by abandoning that Bunker, White Rock took the opportunity to pop up into the main QXE, the player known for aggression, but White Rock showing that he can be aggressive in his own right, moving right up that ramp, look at that, Marines surrounding, and killing that one Stalker, but this one Void Ray, it's not quite charged up yet, but it does have five kills, and there is the Marines just trying to wail away at the last remaining hit points. QXC needs to get this last Viking up if he wants to stabilize, but interesting choice by White Rod to get more Phoenixes and another Void Ray, and one Hellion by QXC trying to get up and roast a few probes, but doesn't quite get enough off in time. There is the one Viking coming down right now. White Rod not looking! He will be end up losing that Void Ray! Oh! Marine does pop out, gonna support a little bit, and QXC looks like He's finally getting to calm down a little bit, but his gas is very high. Hasn't quite gotten to make use of that extra double geyser that he got early on. Mule coming down right now, and ooh, look at that energy. Very high from QXC. Only just now placed a mule. QXC had to deal with that aggression, so he did get thrown off a little bit. And finally a Banshee managing to come out, but doesn't look like White Rot is giving up with this attack yet. More Stalkers, Phoenixes, and Void Rays coming. No Expo coming up anytime soon. A third gateway going down for White Ra. White Ra really wants to put pressure on QXC early. He's seen these three barracks, knows that if White Ra, or excuse me, knows that QXC, if he gets enough momentum, will end up having a huge push in the middle of the game. Now here comes that cloak has already finished. The Banshee is going to be up in just a minute. Supply Depot going down as well. White Ra coming in the back with Void Rays and Phoenixes. He's starting to shoot at this refinery. Seems useless, but it's going to let him charge up. QXC going to try to fire, but oh, big blunder by White Ra not to continue firing and charge up to max. So here's some nice micro by QXC. He needs to get in there and kill off that Void Ray. Oh, Phoenix is lifting everything up into the air. But, oh, will he be able to kill off? No, he doesn't end up killing off the Void Ray. Huge blunder. Oh, my God, the Void Ray still has 26 life left. These Marines are going to be able to dart in. QXC getting a little bit of air again. Those Phoenixes always make me laugh, but oh no! At the same time, White Rod drew all those Marines away from the front, and again, this pylon at the top letting everything warp in to the main of QXC. All he has are Marines against a huge Zealot Stalker force. QXC is in horrible position. He only has SCVs, and one Banshee is out right now. No detection anywhere from White Ra. More Void Rays coming out. QXC cloaks, and he begins killing off probes. It looks like we're going to see a base trade coming up, but already this is a big force for White Ra, and the instant that cloak runs out, QXC's Banshees will fall very quickly. One more Banshee is about to pop out, and QXC is in terrible position. These can't even really kill those units off in time, and QXC, in two very fast games, ends up losing to White Raw. White Raw and Into the Rainbow are currently our two players who are 1-0 in Group A. We'll be coming up with Group B in just a moment where we will have Into the, or excuse me, Tester against Idra. We will be talking that about that in just a minute, but once again, wanted to thank our sponsor, Razor, for providing the $3,000 prize pool and, of course, for their new line of StarCraft II mice keyboards and headphones we will be back in 20 short seconds with game or excuse me with set two of uh idra against tester 